Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and now a series regular, Hisham Taufik, joins me right ahead of the season finale of one of my favorite shows, The Blacklist, to give away all the secrets. Not really, I tried. But make sure to check out the season finale of The Blacklist this Thursday at 9 p.m. on NBC. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and he's Sean. First of all, congratulations, man. Series regular now in one of the hottest shows on TV. You get to guard Red himself, man. I was just, I just saw you at the NBC upfronts, and I was telling you, Spader hit the carpet at the end, and I was like, I love you. <laughs> and you get to work with him every day. So first of all, talk to me about the season finale. Talk to me about being promoted. Talk to me about everything. Wow, it's a lot. Well, first of all, as far as being promoted, it's it's truly a blessing. I, re I remember how this started. It started as a improv audition on a Saturday in July. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, really auditions are Monday through Friday, but okay, I'll go to this last minute audition, improv. And that turned into a week, uh, ep one episode, then two episodes and two seasons. And now I get promoted to series regular. So the journey is, it's, it's magical. I could have never imagined it would happen that way. When you get to become part of one of the hottest shows on television, a show that has such an incredible fan base, mm -hmm. Talk to me about the lift that that gives you as an actor. It's it's an amazing lift. I mean, I remember one of my first fans were from uh, Malaysia. And for some reason, Malaysia just stood out. I was like, wow, Malaysia? In Seattle a while ago, and this guy comes up to me, and he's from Russia. And he thanks me about just the authenticity of, of Russians and the language. And I, it, the Twitter's crazy. The fans are crazy. And it's definitely a morale booster. and makes me feel really good about the work I'm doing and the work we're doing on the show. You need to tell her, Raymond. Tell her what? About Tom. You should have told her some time ago. I don't know how to do that, am I? Yes, you do. You tell her the truth by telling her everything. I don't think I can do that. Working with Spader, when you get to work with someone who has had such a legendary career, both on television and on film, talk to me about that experience. It's, it's an amazing experience, and it's one I, I don't take for granted. You know, uh, I've watched actors work, but watching him work, um, just so detailed, very specific, never phones it in. You know, he likes to have conversations about the scene. I mean, from the props to what we're wearing to the backstory. and. and it also adds, it, it reminds me of why the show is so great. You know, it's, it's not just, okay, this is the scene, let's go. I mean, it's very detailed and, I, and, and watching him is, is a masterclass. And I sit there, I watch and I say, hey, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put this in my cap. And, you know, I use some of the things he does. So it's, it's, a, it's a very, uh, it's an amazing person to watch. He's an amazing person to watch. You've got the season finale coming up. I try to get some tidbits out of Megan. She wasn't <laughs> budging. Can you give me some? T I mean, this show has so many twists and turns, man. And can you just be like, lie? You know, just lie. Like, you know what? Red dies, and I'll believe you, and I'll be happy. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I, I think the reason I think uh, season one or season two, I can't remember. Some stuff got out about one of the episodes, and I think you know the creators Someone got fired, <laughs> probably. But it, they really clamped down as far as the information coming out. So there's uh, most of the times I don't even know until like a day or two before we start shooting. I'll get the episode and see what's happening. It's that close it's, to the filming. Yes, it's that close. But as far as the finale, I, I will say this: usually in every episode, you have a blacklister. You know, and you're chasing that blacklister, and you either kill him or he dies or whatever. He sets it up for the next episode that something's going to happen. I will say that for the finale, that the whole cast is kind of uh, on the ledge. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm, I'm still trying to wonder how, and I have a whole hiatus to do it, how they're going to bring us back from that ledge. Do you sit back, and I was asking him, uh, James, on the red carpet, how you can't be a fan you know, and he, he didn't really feel like he was a fan because I, he's probably been through so much of this. He's seen every twist and turn somehow, some way over his career. 
But if I was an actor on a project like this, I would just sit back and be like, how do these writers come up with this stuff? Do you find yourself being a fan? Absolutely, absolutely. And and even when I read, you know, I think there was one episode, two episodes ago where I get shot and I'm reading the episode and I'm like, I just got shot. And I'm like, do I even want to read the rest of the episode? So I, I'm, I, I said, okay, let me finish reading. I'm second page, two, third page. And all of a sudden, oh, I live. I'm like... Thank you. But I mean, it's the way they brought me back from being shot. It was I was like, OK, thank you. And then what they do with all the characters, you, you just don't you know, it's amazing how they think they come up with this stuff. But I've learned to trust them and have faith and they just keep bringing us back. I can only imagine what's going through your head. You're like, crap, they're writing me off. And then they're like, psych, you're serious. Know, right? We're promoting you. You're getting serious. <laughs> regular. This is like your hazing of know, getting right? promoted. I would, the emotion, that roller coaster ride within three days was Insane. That's awesome. Insane. Man. What's next for you besides this? Well, um, I have a reading in two days for a, a Sundance Lab project, which is uh, the script. It was an excellent script. It's amazing what they're doing. We just talked to Redford actually a couple okay. weeks ago, and to see what he's built with that. And actually, it's funny you mentioned Sundance Lab because Laura Poitras was also on that red carpet, who just won an Oscar for Citizen Four, okay. and she was talking about how that the Sundance Lab has become a platform for new filmmakers and, and uh, aspiring actors. It's incredible. And, and it's a great work. I mean, I read the script and I was blown away. I'm like, Phew. even if I'm not a part of the project, just doing the table read, I'll, you know, and surrounded by these talented actors that are on it, I was like, I have to be a part of this. So I'm going to be doing that. And then I'm just going to kind of relax and breathe on, on this hiatus. I have a, a trip planned to Chile. I'm a snowboarder. So I'm going to go out there and run around in some fresh powder. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to relax. And then it's back to protecting right again. Back to work. <laughs> and congrats. I saw you at the NBC up front. Um, and it's just the show is killing it coming back for another season. So congrats, man.